Yo, what is going on, guys? And welcome back to another live Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. How the heck you guys doing today? Listen, man, Mousehold used to be the only Pokemon that could use the move Tidy Up. But later, they did give it to Frit and the Teal Mask. But then, Game Freak didn't stop there, and they gave Chinchino Tidy Up in the Indigo Disc. And you would think, how do you buff Chinchino more than that? Well, besides Technician, Chinchino's other ability is Skill Link. But now with the Loaded Dice item, we can basically use both Chinchino's abilities at the same time. And honestly, is this the biggest buff Game Freak has ever given a Pokemon? Today, we're going to be taking on Brandon, and here's going to be the teams that we use in today's video. And as always, there's going to be a rental code at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Don't forget to drop a like on today's video. Let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes. Be sure to subscribe for more Pokemon content from myself. Listen, man, we're on our way to 5,000 subscribers right now, and I promise you won't regret it. And last but not least, let me know your guys' answers for the question today in the comments below or a Pokemon you want to see us use. But with all that being said, thank you so much for watching, and let's jump into the battle. All right, as you guys can see on your screen today, we're going to be taking on Brandon, who has a mono normal team. Really cool. Not going to lie. Uh, so they're going to lead off with the Ambipom. We're going to lead off with a DD. Here's the best part about all of this right here, right? Is he cannot fake out me right now because I have the Psychic Terrain up, which is going to be super nice. So this is going to be the first time we're using this team. Um, well, maybe, possibly. I don't know. But uh, the biggest thing is if we look at the team, uh, our biggest thing about this team, right? It's kind of like a three-way slash four-way setup, right? So we basically set up the Psychic Terrain for Ex Executor as well as setting up the Sun for Executor for the Chlorophyll, obviously, and then hopefully try to get something done with Executor because uh, I just love Executor, aka Pine Nuts. Uh, but then we do have Walking Wake to utilize the Sun as well. Uh, we don't have any hazards on this team because obviously we have Tidy Up on our Chinchino. Hopefully we can get that to work, and then we have Choice Band, uh, Choice Band Terrakion. So, Bubblegum here is kind of an issue. Um, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want an Expanding Force just like off the rip. But, uh, on that note, I don't really have anything that can take anything. So let's just go for Expanding Force. Let's see what happens. They're gonna go for the Nasty Plot. Ooh, are you gonna be... Are you going to be, uh, what's it called? Focus Sashed. Yes, you are Focus Sashed. Ooh, that's, uh... Oh, it's a Zoroark. That's why. Okay. That's kind of scary. I didn't really expect. I mean, I, I guess I should have expected the. Um, I guess I really should have expected the Ambipom when I saw an Ambipom go for Nasty Plot. But you know, hey, listen, man. I just got done battling Hayden like yesterday, so I'm like on my toes about every little moose that I see. Uh, so let's see. I could go for Encore here. I'm gonna go for Encore actually. Oh, I forgot. Uh, okay, so we're not gonna outspeed. We do live though, which is nice. Uh, and we lock him into Sludge Bomb. So, that could actually be some pretty good momentum. Um, not really. Because, actually, I don't really have anything that can take anything from this. Um, but, what I could do here is I could go into Kurama. Who Kurama, then I think, could possibly outspeed his Sweden Zork. I really don't know how fast his Sweden Zork actually is. To be whole, like, wholeheartedly with you. Uh, let me double check though. Zoroark has a base 110 speed. Nine Tails, I don't think, is outspeeding that. Yeah, Nine Tails is a base 100 speed, which means uh, we can't really do much. But I would like to get Koruma out just for the sun. If I can bait out one Pokemon to lose, I think Koruma's going to be a very solid uh, Pokemon to lose in this matchup. Just because it's not doing a lot against the Terra Normal team. I mean, granted, it does a lot, but. Uh, I do want to get the sun out. That's the biggest thing is I want to get the sun out so I can obviously come in. Uh, okay, so they're going to go for the sludge bomb. Obviously, that makes sense. Um, on the off chance I live, I'm going to go for a flamethrower here. But I, okay, never mind. I straight up just outspeed this thing. So looking at it, this thing is probably modest. That's what I'm going to take away from that encounter right there. That they are a modest Hisuian Zoroark. Honestly, not the worst case scenario. Uh, they're going to go into actual Bubblegum this time. That's perfectly fine. Because this does give me a good chance to I could tear a ghost here. I could tear a ghost, and especially on a completely fighting team, or sorry, normal team, I could do it. I could really do it. Oh, something's in my head telling me to do it. Something's in my head telling me to do it. Something's telling me to do it. Oh, but I don't want to because I want to Terra. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it because I have Terra 
Normal, actually. Mm, actually, this might not be the play. Um. Ah, screw it. Ah, screw it. I know they're gonna go for the fake out. You know they're gonna go for the fake out to get the free kill. Why not just go ahead and go Terra Ghost? Just so I can get a little bit of damage off. Keep this thing around, possibly. And then just kind of be good to go from there. Unless they go for knockoff. If they go for knockoff, that's going to be kind of not great. But they do go for the fake out. Perfect. Uh, obviously, Psychic Terrain's not going to pop. Psychic Terrain would have popped anyway. So I just Terra Normal for no reason. Oh, my God. I'm stupid. All right. Clown me. Clown me. Comment section. Clown me. Absolutely crucify me right now. Uh, that's not great. Let's go for a flamethrower. They are gonna knock off here. Actually, not worst case scenario because I probably would have died anyways. But it's time to bring in the absolute legend, the boy himself, Mr. Mr. Expanding Force himself. Oh, brother, it's time. It's time for the main event. Oh, brother, let's bring him in. Let's bring him in, shall we? Now, I do have Terra Blast on this thing uh, for some reason. I think I meant to put Terra Fire on this thing. Probably going to have to swap out that next move because I am Terra Psychic. Uh, but let's go for that Expanding Force, baby. Expanding Force. There's nothing safe from this guy right now. Nothing safe. Nothing safe whatsoever. Uh, I really need to think about switching that last move. So next Wi-Fi battle, you're probably going to see me switch up the moves. But that's perfectly fine. So Zoroar gone, which means Expanding Force is going to hurt hard. Um, Butternut. Butternut is going to come in. Butternut is going to be the treat, uh, greet it. That is a hilarious name. Uh, I am going to go for the expanding force here. Let's see how much this does to this greet it. I am base 125 special attack, solid amount of damage. Now, it is going to be cheek pouch, probably. Little unfortunate. Uh, really unfortunate, actually. Uh, it is going to get the, H or, uh, the HP stockpile. Okay. Uh, that's a little scary. That's actually really scary question is is how much is this going to take this thing on um and the weirdness is going to go away um okay this is not great not great at all um okay let's go for a sludge bomb in hopes that we can get a poison poison would be nice no poison they're going to be the stock up shenanigans that's not great uh actually if i'm correct it's not the worst case scenario actually because Terrakion can come in and just straight up crucify this thing with sec uh, secret, or sacred sword, sorry. But we do get the poison, so that's going to be nice at least. That's going to be really nice at least. They're going to go for the rest. That's actually perfect because <clears throat> they're not going to be Chesto. And we can bring in Terrakion, who's choice banded, and swap this thing out. But the good thing is we also have Brain Box, who still is alive. So... I'm actually going to go into Balarki now just because I don't see them having anything. And luckily, Sacred Sword doesn't care about stat boost. That's the amazing part about this. Going to be completely asleep. Perfectly fine with me. Do they have sleep talk? They're not going to have sleep talk. Absolutely fine with me. Uh, yeah, let's go for this Sacred Sword, baby. Let's go for the secret or Sacred Sword. If you are Terra Ghost, I'm going to cry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am done for. Thank you for having me in today's Wi-Fi battle. It is greatly appreciated. I'm out here getting swept by the absolute boy. The, the, the nut himself, Butternut. Yikes. This is not good, brother. It's not good. Okay, well, what do I do here? Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. Oh, this is going to be an ish you. Um, and I have no sun for this thing as well. Uh, it has rest for years. Um, wow. That is horrible. I... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yikes, brother. Yikes, yikes, yikes. And I'm choice banded, so I'm locked in. Let's just go into brain box. I don't have anything to take this thing on. Stockpile greedent might just be a little broken. Might just be a little broken. Um, if we can get a crit on something, I guess that'd be cool. Uh, I'm probably not going to get one, though. Uh, it woke up. That's great. Goes for body press on top of things, brother. 
Oh man, it's just it's it's just all over for the boy. It's just all over. All right, uh, well let's I guess go into pine nuts here, and pine nuts. Well, it's nutty. It's pine nutty. But hey, if we can get a hey, if we can get a crit, we're not out of this. If we can get a crit, we're completely not out of this. Let's go for the expanding force. Come on, baby. Okay, that's some solid damage, actually. They are going to go for the Terra Blast. Oh, God. Terra Blast, Body Press, Stockpile, Rest. Okay, well, that's not completely taking us out. That's not completely taking us out. So, if we can bring in... Hmm. All right, let's go for the Expanding Force here. Expanding Force doing a good chunk of damage. If they go for the Rest, that's going to suck. Uh, they're gonna go for the Terror Blast. Okay, so we should put it in range to where, um, we should put it in range to where I think Terrakion can come in and Stone Edge this. Ah, do I really want to bank this on a Stone Edge? Do I really want to bank it on a Stone Edge? Let me look at the stats real quick. Let me look at the stats of Greedent here. Greedent has, uh, some really bad special defenses, so I'm gonna bring in Bluey here. I'm going to bring in the old blue raptor. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get out of this. Hopefully we can get out of this. But um, I say the play is to... I think the play is to Hydro Steam. We do Hydro Steam. We are choice specs. Does this take it out? It does take out Butternut. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So... Executor kind of saved us, actually. Executor really did save us a little bit. Um, it's just these wounds are these wounds are hurt pretty bad. They're pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. These these uh these are hurt. So they're gonna go into DK. DK is going to be the slacking. Okay, this is where we could possibly come back. This is where we could possibly come back. So what I want to do here, right, is I'm gonna probably take some good damage. But if I can go. If this thing can one-shot me, I can go into Mighty Mouse. And Mighty Mouse can set up a tidy up. In which then we could probably outspeed the Star Raptor and be good to go from there. So I'm gonna go for the Hydro Steam here. Uh he has he has Star Raptor, Mouse Hold, and the Slacking left. Okay. Perfect good damage. That is perfectly good damage. Giga Impact, absolutely perfect. There we go. That is gonna be amazing because now I can send in Chinchino. And Chinchino can possibly be our savior here. It could possibly be the savior. Come on. Mouse hold. Let's go, baby. Oh, mouse, or not mouse hold. Sorry. It's, it's mouse versus mouse, baby. It's Chinchino for the clutch. Are we going to do it? I'm tidying up here. Absolutely going to tidy up. Oh, brother. So the true one's going to come into play. But the solid part is we're loaded dice. As long as we can hit things, we should be okay. DK has to recharge. That's going to be perfect. Now... Uh, what's your... Oh, ah, uh, the accuracy is going to hurt me. The accuracy is going to actually scare me. Um, okay. So, luckily, Bullet Seed is 100% accurate. Bullet Seed is 100% accurate. I just don't know if I want to rely on it. I don't know what if I want to rely on it. I am trying way too hard with these... Uh, listen, I battled Hayden just the other day, and I missed a Rock Blast, and it probably cost me the battle. Right? But... But, but, mouse hold, better than Rhyperior. Let's see it here. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. Tail slap on the absolute boy. On the absolute boy. Okay. Whew, this is getting way too intense for me. Way too intense. And the other part is, is now do I outspeed Star Raptor? Do I outspeed Choice Scarf Star Raptor is the real question. All right, gonna go into Nightwing. Well, luckily they already Terra'd. If I miss, listen, if I miss this Rock Blast, it's it's GG's. It's GG's if I miss this Rock Blast. Come on. Chinchino, let's go, baby. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think I was gonna crawl out of that, uh, out of that Exeggutor hole. I'll be honest, or the, sorry, not the Exeggutor, but the, but the green in. But listen, we're not completely in the clear yet. We are not completely in the clear yet because we have to land a singular, singular tail slap, okay? Right? I could go for bullet seed. You're thinking bullet seed. Yeah, that could easily do it, you know? But here's the thing, right? 
I don't think Bullet Seed takes it out. It's not Stab. I think a Tail Slap does take it out. Uh, but it's... Yeah, oh, man, I don't know. Okay, well, I do... <clears throat> okay, so here's the realisticness of it, right? Is if I... Let's say for some reason... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Yeah, so we're going to be good. So let's say he gets one tidy up in. We still out speed, which, we, which means we have another chance. But if he goes for population bomb, we don't. I'm going to go for the tail slap here. We do land it, baby. Chinchino! Yeah! Oh, yes, dude. Chinchino single-handedly saving us this game. And the reason why is, not going to lie, Truant saved us. Truant truly saved us in this game just because it gave us a chance for Walking Wake to get completely knocked out for us to set up one uh, tidy up. So my opponent's probably punching air right now. I don't know. But that's going to be GG's to Brandon. Super fun game. If you guys do want to use the team, rental code right here. Here is going to be the rental code for the team we use in today's Wi-Fi battle. The Poke Pace will be in the description as well. Don't forget to leave a like on today's video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more Pokemon battles. And let me know in the comments of some Pokemon you want to see us build a team around. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and start working on the next set of Wi-Fi battles. So please give yourselves a great morning, night, evening, day, wherever you're at. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Ooh.